Hello and welcome. My name is Yata and I'm a Retribution Paladin player from the World of Warcraft Guild method. I've created this video for the Razor Academy to show you some new abilities, changes and additions to Retribution Paladins in the upcoming World of Warcraft expansion, Mists of Pandaria. I will not be covering all the changes, but just a few important ones that are new for the expansion set. If you're not familiar with all the changes that have occurred in patch 504, I'd strongly suggest you look up my written Retribution Paladin guide for patch 504 on Mana Flask before watching this video. The link to the guide is located in the description of this video. Now, let's get started. The new spell Paladins learn is called Binding Light, which we learn at level 87. This is basically an AoE crowd control on a 2 minutes cooldown which will definitely have its use in PvP and some PvE encounters. There are a few new spells that we learned in the last tier of our tree at level 90 and we will be covering them shortly. For starters, we'll go through the new talent tree and explain which spells will be of good use in your PvE arsenal. Note to self, there is no strict cookie cutter build, most of the spells can be chosen according to personal preferences. As you can see, the first tier of our tree is the movement speed tier. Speed of Light increases your movement speed by 70% for 8 seconds and it's on a 45 seconds cooldown. Long Arm of the Law makes your successful judgment hits increase your movement speed by 45% for 3 seconds. Pursuit of Justice makes you gain 15% movement speed at all times, plus an additional 5% movement speed for each current charge of Holy Power, up to a maximum of 3. I will be taking Pursuit of Justice, which is the overall winner as it gives the most movement speed increase during fights overall. Long Arm of the Law would definitely be my second choice, as some bosses require you to move at certain moments during a fight where a guaranteed bigger speed increase could save you. Moving on to the second tier of our tree, we have the PvP or Trash Crowd Control spells. Fist of Justice stuns the target for 6 seconds. It's on a 30 seconds cooldown and replaces Hammer of Justice. We do notice that Repentance uh, has changed a bit now. It has a 1.5 seconds cast time and is on a 15 seconds cooldown. Burden of Guilt is a new talent that makes your judgment hits reduce the movement speed of the target hit by 50% for 12 seconds. Burden of Guilt is my choice for this tier mostly because it's a passive and is of great help for a few new encounters where you need to kite and slow ads. Repentance and Fist of Justice, on the other hand, have their own fair share of use in PvP situations, as well as Burden of Guild. Our third tier is the healing part of our talent tree and hasn't got that much of an impact in a PvE environment, except for a small amount of sustain that could eventually help out the healers. Selfless Healer makes your successful judgment reduce the cast time and mana cost of your next flash of light by 35% per stack and improves its effectiveness by 35% per stack when used to heal others. This effect stacks up to 3 times. Eternal Flame consumes up to 3 Holy Power to place a protective Holy Flame on a friendly target, which heals them for a fixed amount and places an additional heal over time that ticks every 3 seconds for 30 seconds. This spell also replaces Word of Glory. Sacred Shield protects the target with a Shield of Holy Light for 30 seconds. The shield absorbs a certain amount of damage every 6 seconds. In this tier, I go for Sacred Shield as it can be used as a filler when you have cooldowns on all of your spells to mitigate some damage during a boss encounter. Eternal Flame is mostly for Holy, while Selfless Healer would be a second choice for this tree as you can get a pretty nice heal out at the cost of no Holy Power. The fourth tier of our tree has a few utility spells that have been proven useful on certain boss encounters. Hand of Purity, when activated, places a hand on a friendly target, reducing the damage of harmful periodic effects by 70% for 6 seconds. Unbreakable Spirit When your Divine Shield, Divine Protection or Lay on Hands are in cooldown, spending Holy Power will reduce the remaining cooldown by 1% per Holy Power spent, up to a maximum of 50% reduction. Clemency grants you the ability to use Hand of Freedom, Hand of Protection, Hand of Sacrifice and Hand of Salvation twice each before incurring their cooldowns. Clemency is definitely the talent to go for both PvP and PvE. Two Hand of Protection buffs in a row have been proven very useful in the newest Mists of Pandaria raiding tier. The fifth tier of our talent tree is the DPS cooldown part of our tree which also makes it the hardest one to choose your talents from. Holy Avenger Abilities that generate Holy Power will deal 30% additional damage and healing and generate 3 charges of Holy Power for the next 18 seconds. 
And as you could see, it has a really nice addition of making your weapon turn into the Ashbringer during the whole duration of the buff. Sanctified Wrath makes your Avenging Wrath last 50% longer and grants more frequent access to the Hammer of Wrath ability, whose cooldown is reduced by 50%. Divine Purpose gives you a 25% chance to cause a Divine Purpose effect after using an ability that consumes Holy Power. While under the influence of Divine Purpose buff, your next Holy Power ability will cast as if 3 Holy Power resources were consumed. This buff lasts for 8 seconds unless used earlier. Choosing the best talent for this tier is pretty hard right now without any concrete numbers for any of these talents. I'll be sticking with Sanctified Wrath for now as it's the best one of the 3 abilities currently on Life Realms. If you like Divine Purpose more and you feel lucky, then definitely pick that talent rather than Sanctified Wrath. And now, finally, we get to the last tier of our tree which grants us access to 3 new abilities at level 90. Holy Prism sends a beam of light towards the target, turning them into a prism for holy energy. If an enemy is the prism, it takes damage and radiates healing to 5 nearby allies within 15 yards. However, if an ally is the prism, they are healed and radiate holy damage to 5 nearby enemies within 15 yards. Light's Hammer Hurl a light infused hammer into the ground where it will blast a 10 yard area with arcing light for 17 seconds. It deals holy damage to enemies within the area while healing allies within the area every 2 seconds. Execution Sentence A hammer slowly falls from the sky, causing holy damage over 10 seconds. This damage is dealt slowly at first and increases over time, culminating in a final burst of damage. If used on friendly target, the Falling Hammer heals the target over 10 seconds. For single target use, you should be picking up the Execution Sentence talent. The spell itself isn't really powerful itself, so it's only used as a filler in a rotation. The reasoning behind this is that it doesn't generate any holy power. On the other hand, Light's Hammer will be proven much more valuable on fights that has lots of AoE. Now, moving on to our glyphs. At this point, none of our glyphs gives a definite DPS increase. For the three major glyphs, I suggest using Glyph of Templar's Verdict, Glyph of Double Jeopardy, and Glyph of Harsh Words. For AoE fights, you should exchange the Glyph of Harsh Words for the Glyph of Mass Exorcism. Now, minor glyphs aren't really all that important. Uh, you should pick the ones you like the most. I mean, my personal favorites are Glyph of Seal of Blood, Glyph of Vengeance, and Glyph of Fire from the Heavens. And now to our rotation. Our single target rotation should look something like this. Inquisition with 3 holy power is better than Templar's Verdict with 5 holy power, which is better than Hammer of Wrath, which is better than Exorcism, which is better than Crusader Strike, which is better than Judgment, which is better than a 3 to 4 holy power Templar's Verdict, which is better than Execution Sentence, and which is better than Sacred Shield. Our multiple target rotation should look something like this. Inquisition with 3 holy power is better than a divine storm with 5 holy power, which is better than hammer of wrath, which is better than exorcism, which is better than hammer of the righteous, which is better than 3 to 4 holy power divine storm, which is better than light's hammer, which is better than sacred shield. Don't forget to check out our other guides for other classes and specs at the method site. If you have any additional questions, feel free to contact me via the method forums or leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Also, remember to check out the Razor channel and our forums for any updates and news. And most importantly, thank you for watching this video.